Hi, this is Handy TF. The tire on this wheelbarrow has many nail holes, and this stem is also broken. I was going to replace the tire with new one, then I was shocked to see how ridiculously expensive the new tire is. Yes, one new tire is more expensive than a whole new wheelbarrow. In this video, we are going to fix the flat tire once for all, by turning into flat free tire, and for less than 10 bucks. You can use this same method to fix tires on other hand tools, like hand truck, garden cart, spreader. Basically, we are going to fill it with foam, instead of air. You do not need to fix the holes or the stem, and do not even need to take the wheel off. First cut two holes on the opposite of the tire, the hole is about the size of your index finger. Oh, the blade just slip, nearly slices my finger off, so be careful. You want to cut the opening in an angle, not straight down, so that we can close the hole by gluing it back. Hi, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons below, this will encourage me to make more free videos to help more people. Pour a bottle of water into the holes, and spin it several times, to let the water spread evenly inside the tire, the water will act as lubricant, so the foam wouldn't get stuck and can fill the tire completely. Use the great stuff for the big gap, not the other ones. Shake the can for about one minute, and screw the straw onto the can. Insert the straw into the hole in the tire, as you push the foam into the tire, slowly pull the straw out when you hear that it is filling up. Insert the straw into the same hole, but in the other direction, and inject the foam. Inject the foam into the other hole in two directions too. I empty the hole can into the tire, if there is too much, it will come out of the hole, it is better to have more foam, than not enough. Don't clean the excess foam now, they are very sticky, let it sit overnight, and you can easily and cleanly take them off the next day. Remove any excess foam, so that you can close the opening. Apply some super glue, put a small piece of plastic sheet over it, and clamp a piece of wood block to push the opening close. Let it sit for several hours, then remove the clamp, the piece of plastic sheet got glued to the tire, but it prevents the wood block from being stuck to the tire, otherwise, when we take the block off, it could pull open the hole again. It is okay that little bit of plastic sheet left stuck to the tire. The hole is pretty well closed. I can feel the tire is completely and evenly filled with foam, it is very solid. Don't try it on the tires for the motor vehicles, not for car or trailer. Please like and subscribe, thank you for your time, Handy TF.